does Sjogren's affect all the joints or just certain joints or, or how does that work in Sjogren's? So Sjogren's is, you know, is an autoimmune inflammatory chronic condition. So there are, because it's a systemic illness, there are multiple organ systems that are involved. So the joints are definitely one of the areas that are affected. In general, majority of the time, they're basically small joints, i.e. hands and feet, ankles and wrists, because those are usually the inflammatory joint areas. Unfortunately, there are some patients with superimposed uh, or osteoarthritis in addition to Sjogren's, so then they would have back pain, hip pain, knee pain that would basically get triggered whenever they have Sjogren's symptoms. So majority of the time it's small joints, but it's still likely that they would also have medium joints, i.e. basically knees, um, sometimes shoulders, and then it's up to obviously to your provider to figure out if it's inflammatory, if it's not inflammatory, because obviously the treatment, of, treatment, treatment options are different. Mm -hmm.